Hello everybody, it's Renee from the Let's Get Real channel again. And I recently uploaded a video, it was called Liberal Society Fuels the Eugene Homeless Problem. And it's a good video, check it out. I went undercover as a hobo, as a homeless person for three months to try to get down to the bottom of what's going on in a liberal city like Eugene and why is there so much homelessness. You should check it out. But I got a response already, it hasn't been up that long. And you probably can't read this, but this guy here, right here, this dumbass named Lunabus, says that there are state regulations and these around these issues. It's not that your opinion is wrong; it's just that your opinion is fascist. He says, "You can say what you like, of course, but your callous opinion is, is doing nothing but hurting the country." Okay, you can't really read it yourself, but that's basically what it says. He calls me a fascist. Okay. Now, I assume he understands what the definition of a, fasc a fascist is. Okay. At least you would think he did. But he's actually wrong. All right. He's a dumbass. A lot of time you see these protesters out there waving these communist, old communist flags, promoting communism. Do they follow what communism actually is let's check it out let's check out the definition of communism it's a political theory derived from Karl Marx advocating class war and leading to society in which all property is publicly owned all proper all property is publicly owned you don't own your own home you don't own your own land you don't own your own business all property is publicly owned and each person works and is paid according to their abilities. Do you see that word right there? Each person works. That means that you are made to work whether you like it or not. And you are paid according to what they believe you should be paid for your work. That's communism. Now, when you look at these protesters out there claiming to be communists, what I see is a bunch of guys and girls sleeping in tents all day and then coming out at night and raising hell where do they find the time to work they're not even following their own belief system all they're doing is causing problems and pretending to be peaceful protesters maybe some of them are but if that were the case there wouldn't be such shit going on everywhere we know that there's some violent people in there. And they're always screaming out, fascism, you guys are fascist. Government is fascist. Donald Trump is fascist. Do they understand the definition of fascism? Well, let's see. You probably can't see it, so I'll read it. It's a governmental system led by a dictator. A dictator having complete power, forcibly suppressing opposition and criticism, Regimenting all industry, commerce, and etc. Okay? A dictator. One person that controls everybody and everything. And people will be like, well, that's the exact definition of Donald Trump. No, Donald Trump can be voted out. Even if he's not voted out this election year, he only can serve two terms. And then he's gone. That's not fascism. Fascism is when you have one dictator. And he cannot be removed. And if this was a fascist state, we would have a dictator. And believe me, he wouldn't allow any protests, not even peaceful ones. And that fascist would not use rubber bullets or tear gas. That fascist would gun you down in cold blood. Could you imagine if federal agents were shooting live rounds, were shooting 7.62 rounds or 5.56 rounds into the public and knocking down rows and rows of people? Do you think you'd have protesters come out the next day? If you did, they're going to get gunned down too, and that's fascism. Okay? Fascism would be people being arrested and sent to camps and never heard from again. Okay? That's fascism. And I was called a fascist by that person that left a comment on my YouTube um, um, video. That idiot obviously doesn't understand what fascist is. Watch the video, 
and you can understand why I was saying why I, the things I said. Liberals in this country are spoiled brats. They're uneducated, and they feel that somebody owes them something. When nobody owes you anything, you owe it to yourself to do what makes you happy. It's up to you to pursue happiness. It's not up to somebody else. Get real about shit. And remember, like and subscribe. But before you talk shit, I advise you to do your own research. Goodbye.